sports education advocate Jennifer Says here. She wrote the book, Levi's Unbuttoned, The Woke Mob Took My Job But Gave Me My Voice, out in a couple of weeks. She was Levi's CEO uh, to tell she advocated for schools reopening during COVID, and then Levi's fired her. Uh, Jennifer, we appreciate you being here. This is great. Um, is there something about the education issue that transcends the typical partisan lines of someone like yourself who was self-described as a, a liberal in a way? Yeah, I absolutely think so. When it comes to our kids and our kids getting a, a good, a high quality education, that has nothing to do with party. And I think a lot of parents have been mobilized towards to join the school choice movement because of the prolonged school closures during the pandemic. Certainly for me, that's the case. I'd always been a public school mom, but for a year and a half, I was given no choice. You know, my kids had no choice but to do Zoom school at home. And I really began to question. I, I wanted another option. Uh, so this really has nothing to do with party. As you mentioned, I come from the left, although now I'm often vilified and demonized as some far right QAnon conspiracy theorist <laughs> well, because why, I challenged the prolonged school closures. Why, why is that so threatening in, in, to, to people on the left? Eric Swalwell, the congressman uh, from California, please tell me what I'm missing here. Uh, what are we doing next? Put patients in charge of their own surgeries, clients in charge of their own trials. When do we stop trusting experts? This is so stupid. Speaking about uh, school choice and about parents being involved in their educations and everything else, why, why do you think People are so threatened by parents wanting to, to be involved in their kids' lives. You know, it's a great question. And I would just say, first of all, calling me stupid and calling me names is not a good way to win me over as a voter. Um, I resent it. It makes me angry. I expect for you to at least engage the argument on its merits. And I don't think they have an argument. The public schools have been failing our children for some time. A light was shined on that during the pandemic when schools in California, for instance, where I used to live, were closed for 18 months. What choice did we parents have? Have. Meanwhile, the governor sent his children to private school. So for privileged parents, and I, I am privileged, I'm not denying that, I'm not lying about who I am, but I have chosen public schools. But for the wealthy, they've always had a choice and they've opted for private schools. Why do we want to deny that to all parents? The point of a public education is free and equal access to a high quality education. That was denied for far too many parents and children during the last two years. And so parents are saying, we want a choice. We want yeah. another choice. That doesn't you, mean going private necessarily. It could mean choosing a high quality charter, which is what I did. Yeah, call, call, calling voters stupid being a bad idea is actually something we said last night as well. So you and I are on the same page. We just call, you know, you have to be able to engage on the field of battle rather than calling names, but uh, I, I digress. Um, I, I think about, your your time at Levi's and everything else, and I want to I want to have you back when the book comes out, so we can go through all that and talk about what happened to you. But as we we stick on the education issue, um, you see now some relatively liberal folks, but Kathy Hochul and J.B. Pritzker are about as liberal as you get. Josh Shapiro coming out and saying the same thing as Democrats uh, as a Democratic governor candidate. Um, do you believe that it's actually an honest move and that that will move through the state legislatures or is it that the teachers unions still have too much control, for example, in the way they do in California? You know, it's hard to say. I don't know. The proof will be in the pudding. We'll see if they deliver on those commitments. Um, at the end of the day, I don't care why. You know, if they listen to parents, if they, they did it because they had to, because it was politically expedient, then then that's a good solution. But we won't know. We won't know if they're going to deliver on it until, you know, we see how this plays out while they're in office. I hope they do. I hope they do. All right. Um, Jennifer, we really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Um, and really appreciate the perspective. It's fascinating. Uh, I'm, we're going to get in touch. I want a copy of your book, and we're going to have you back on when it comes out, all right? <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely send one. And just one quick correction. I was the president at Sorry. Levi's, and I was on the road to CEO, but didn't quite get there. I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to be something I'm not. I, that, the, the mistake is 100% mine, and I'm glad you corrected it. We always make room for that. Thank, <laughs> thank you, ma'am.
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.